The basic problem is this hasn't happened before in the Atlantic, it has in the Pacific. Uh, when it does in the Pacific, these clouds don't sit where there are a lot of airports. They're mainly a problem of how is the airplane going to get around them. There are areas of high concentration and lower concentration, and you could find a pathway through the area of low concentration. That's something that's going to be changing all the time, daily or more often, just depending on wind direction. So, uh, very difficult to manage. Uh, much of the ash is, is actually little particles of glass because that's what the molten rock turns to when it hits the air. It turns to glass, just like window glass, really. And, um, and that melts very easily. It's, it's really still a liquid. It's technically a supercooled liquid. And when it, it melts and then it coats the turbine blades and it fills up uh, clogs holes that are used for cooling the engine. There's a tendency for these eruptions to be most explosive early, uh, but they can go up and down and up and down or there's another neighboring volcano that could be triggered. What's certain to happen is the weather pattern will change. And even if the eruption continues vigorously, uh, there will be periods when the cloud is not a problem.